is hated by many, loved by one. Hated by many, loved by one. Please welcome Fabiola Fugliola. The one person that was hated by almost everyone was a person who had a great influence in my life. He brought a lot of sadness and pain to his family. He was selfish, eccentric, too proud for his own good, and he never fit in. But I loved this man. This person was my grandfather, Takao Fujiwara. And his story started back in Japan when he and his siblings were orphans. The eldest brother decided to send Takao to Brazil with an uncle. In 1926, at the young age of 10 years old, Takao arrives in Brazil. Sadly, he discovered that he was not brought in as part of the family, but as a servant and worker for his uncle's family. At 12 years old, he left his abusive uncle and somehow managed to survive on his own. This turned him into a tough person with little patience for people, and he lived in survivor mode. When he was about 24 years of age, he established his own family through an arranged marriage and have seven kids with his wife who died at a young age with a heart condition. He was not an easy person and brought pain to his family. And he never followed the rules of the community. And for the Japanese especially, not following the rules was unacceptable. I remember visiting my Japanese friends and the grandparents would come out of their way to ask me if I was the, daughter, the granddaughter of Takao Fujiwara. I quickly learned that confirming this fact would react in very unpleasant reactions. Takao was an outcast, and he upset a lot of people throughout his life. When I was six years old, my grandfather came to live with us. The first memory I had was him teaching me how to light a match and start fires. <laughs> he was a pyromaniac and almost burned down our house twice. Another passion of his was what we call today the table to farm approach. He raised eels, escargots, ducks, rabbits, and I had a blast with the animals, especially the bunnies. One day, still a small kid, my sister and I returned from school only to be served our bunnies for lunch. <laughs> I cried hysterically for hours. My grandfather, trying to make amends, gifted me a purse he had worked on with my rabbit fur. <laughs> that was traumatic, to say the least. He also had his caveman style of cooking. He loved to bring live animals to the house. I vividly remember him rushing into the kitchen with this huge octopus wrapped around his arm. I was fascinated. He started to explain to him that he had to massage this octopus with salt before cooking. Can you imagine him? fighting with this octopus, gooey stuff out on the walls, tentacles all over the place. The kitchen looked like a war zone after he cooked. It was a mess. And he would simply shout and leave, I'm done. <laughs> I had a special bond with my grandfather, one that would put me in very unusual situations on and off. Several times, I had to get my grandfather from bars. He would get into fights, destroy the bar, and nobody was able to calm him down. Not even bring him home, but as soon as I walked into the bar, he would stop. 
he would hold my hand and tell me, I'm done here, let's go. As we start leaving the bar, it was a mess. I start apologizing to the people. I'm so sorry, sir. We will pay for the damage. Takao would get mad. You stop apologizing for something you didn't do. You did nothing wrong. As we start proceeding to leave the bar, he would proudly say, this is my granddaughter. Takao was not an easy or loving person. Life was harsh. He did not receive much love or care. He simply survived. I often ask myself, why do I love Takao? It was this inexplicable feeling of love that I felt when I was in his presence. He never said, I love you, or gave me a hug, or said sorry when he killed my bunny. <laughs> but his presence was powerful, energetic, and loving. When we were together, he was fully committed and engaged. If this man was in this room today, you would be intrigued. He was authentic. I have an immense gratitude for the time we share together. He showed me how to love and care for someone that nobody could love. He taught me that it was okay not to conform, that I could be myself and pursue what brings me joy. Deep in my heart, I adored my grandfather. It was impossible for me to hate this man. I am proud of the love that we shared, for his courage to be himself, and I will not justify or give any excuses for anyone who questions me about my love for my grandfather. I am honored to be the granddaughter of Takao Fujiwara. Thank you.